What's happening people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog of Daring Whips. Today, that's the day. You guys already know by the title. We're gonna be working on the Alfa Romeo. We got my boy Ramen here. What's up, this guy messed up. Can you see his I face? It's dark. So he, he messed up. And uh, as you guys already know by the title, so this is the hose that we're gonna place that most of people end up breaking. There's no video on the YouTube. Literally, there's no videos on the YouTube for it. So I'm gonna be the first one to make a video. Make sure you guys subscribe for that, please. Cause we're gonna do this by searching online and whole lot of shit. But yeah, this is like a 15 minute job. It's not a big deal, but the money is gonna cost you a lot. It's gonna cost you like $350 to just replace it. Or actually not replace it, buy it. Labor's gonna cost you extra, you're gonna get it done. So yeah, this is the hose. It goes from your coolant tank, goes all the way. To this this is a connector that broke like literally it just broke he was trying to pull the cover off the cover came off but it hit hit that hose the car had, had a pressure the coolant pressure in it and that's just fucking squirted broke out. yeah squirted out the whole thing so yeah uh, this thing runs all the way from here to your turbo I think it cools down the turbo I think that's that's what it's for I'm not sure I'm not an engineer but if you broke that you don't care I'm pretty sure you just want to change it too and get the car running okay so yeah so that's that's the hose that's what it looks like from there all right so they got the whole new part so it's kit. yeah it's a whole kit it's like i said it's gonna cost you 350 if you got the money to get it replaced get it replaced if not then make sure you just do it yourself and listen to this video so so this is a hose that's gonna replace that hose that we just broke and this thing is gonna replace the shiny one and this thing literally looks the same it doesn't have any difference but for this hose it has the new adapter thinking like it has a so see this it has a rubber on it one second see that like a rubber gasket thingy so that shit is gonna go on here you just bolt it on it's pretty easy so this is literally the only thing that's gonna literally change so i guess they don't make these for the newer model or older models because the alpha is 2017 so the newer one i guess the newer ones come with a better quality or some shit but yeah let me put it to the car so you'll get a better idea so uh this thing it's literally gonna go on here put the light see it looks alike the bolts literally line up and this thing is gonna replace this shiny one this shiny one it's gonna go on here into this hose and it's gonna run back to your tank that's right it's gonna run back into your tank but yeah so so it's not that hard of job if you want to do it it's pretty easy so let's get on with it all right so this thing actually has clips in it if you broke it you probably don't care just put your screwdriver into it and make sure you put it from this side and pull the thing out it comes pretty it comes out pretty easy just make sure you got no pressure in there because you don't want to hurry up because your coolant's gonna be hot so make sure you wait for it to cool down a bit but yeah so these are the clips they open up pretty easy you just need a screwdriver you just look at them you'll you'll know how to open up they're pretty easy too all right once you get that out this hose is already broken so you can just throw this one away this thing is just holding with the clip right there's nothing else holding it and then you come down here so i just took this plug out because i was working on it i was trying to see how to do it but i was like let's start a video before i work on too much you know so this plug is pretty easy too you just gotta push it on the bottom and pull it out it'll come out it's not that hard you just make sure like when you take it out you just make sure that yellow that you see in there it unclips from this right here there's like a it's like a small staging on top let me see if you can see it that right there so yeah make sure it doesn't stick to that because it has like two locks but yeah all you gotta do is just put pressure on it and pull it out all right and then you come down here so you got two bolts one two then you got another bolt right here that's a third bolt and then you got a fourth bolt that's right here one two three four so four bolts then we got two more bolts they're uh, going into your turbo cooling system i guess whatever you want to call that it's a pipe so whatever you want to call this so you got one bolt here here and then you got another bolt on the other side i can't show you because the camera's not gonna go in there and this is where your uh cover holder the cover clip thing goes you yes. just yeah it's like i think it's like 10 a uh, socket uh, 10 12 12 it's 12 so you just use a 12 socket and then just open it up it's pretty easy and then you do gotta get this plug out too 
from this plug right here. Which is connected and yeah, this from that end. this end right here. You don't have to take take this off, but if I did it just to try minutes. to take this off, but it's a bitch. But yeah, <clears throat> let's get on with it. So it's pretty easy. Like if you look at it right here, you can see the bolts. I think I might have counted kind of the bolts wrong. There's another one right here. So you got one, two, three. This is where your pipe's gonna go, and the bolt's gonna hold the pipe. And four, then you got five, then you got six, seven. So seven bolts and a sensor. This is it for this, and it comes with a gasket. I'll put the link for this in the description if you guys wanna go and buy it. Right. So the bolts, they're gonna go on the turbo pipe that has a cooling end to keep the turbo cold. So those two bolts are 10 millimeter. And uh, they're not that tight on my car. I'm not sure how it's gonna be with yours, but they're not that tight, so they weren't that hard to open up. You got the one bolt out. For the second bolt, you're gonna have to just feel it, feel your way through. You can't see it even from the bottom. You can't see it. We got a down pipe on this thing. It's like a catalyst down pipe. We don't, we don't got a stock down pipe, so we even, we got a lot of space down there. We still couldn't get it, so we had to just open it up from the top. And but yeah, you just gotta feel your way to that bolt. Alright guys, so once you got the bolts, both bolts off, just have a, enough free play moment, you can just swerve and it'll come out. Just And see that coolant dripping? There's going to be a lot of coolant that's going to be dripping out of it because the coolant is still in the system. But yeah, uh, after that, let's get on with the, that was that was literally the hardest part, then we got easy part. Alright guys, this is a 10 millimeter that's going to go on your side. This side, do you want to show the side real quick? See that? That's where it's gonna go. The 10 millimeter. So you got two bolts out and then the third one's out. All right guys, already ran into a problem. So these things right here, they're like stars, right? So I think these are like nine and I don't, I got like literally two tools right there. I don't have nine in there. So there's never a work or job that you don't gotta go to AutoZone. So AutoZone trip, <laughs> it is. All right guys, had to go to the old Riley because AutoZone didn't have this. But yeah, uh, after all the struggle, found this. It's gonna need the socket eight uh, in order for you to get those bolts open. So the socket eight fits on there, right? Like literally, it's pretty stiff. So I'm gonna get those bolts open and let's go from there. As you can tell, it's already moving now. The, see that? So we just opened this. Oh, he actually broke the clip. So we just broke that clip, and this shit is off. This shit is trash anyway, so we don't care. Uh, okay. There goes the last bolt. Some fucking longing, longest bolts. Well, I should just come right off. There it goes. All right. All right, guys, got the older one out and we're gonna put the new one in. So for the new one, this is the only thing you're gonna have to replace from the older one. And this already comes with the sensor and everything. And I got the gas kit that I'm reused. Looks pretty solid. It didn't come with the gas kit, I don't got one. So we're gonna just use this.
guys. So actually the gasket was a bitch. So the new kit doesn't come with the gasket. So make sure you don't want to touch that. It was already like saddled in there. But uh, my dumbass had to touch it. I, was, I thought it was like a new gasket already. But so yeah, it was a bitch to get it lined up back up. But yeah, uh, I'm just uh, tightening up the bolts now. And got it right. So basically you just work your way through what you did. So I already got these three bolts. You want to show it real quick? So I got one, two, and the third one that's already down there. Got those three bolts already lined up and ready to rock and roll. And I got another bolt right here. That should be this one. Long as motherfucking bolts. And this is gonna go on here. That's gonna be your cover holder shit. And then uh, you just plug this sensor back in and you just line up this, this one right here on there. But make sure you put the gasket on before you do it. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that pipe, make sure you put the gasket on before you put it back on there and just put the bolts back on. Yep. I'm gonna go and do that. I'm not gonna record it. Maybe I will, but yeah. All right guys, so this is the gasket that was already on there. But see how this has like a table legs, <laughs> the legs on the bottom, right? So I put this this way facing towards the engine and uh, these legs are gonna stick right on the top of the part that it came with and it's not gonna go this way. It won't go inside the, the part, pipe, the cellular pipe. It'll actually go towards the engine. These things are gonna stay outside. So you can see that. Can you see that? See that? How it's sticking out? But yeah, the gasket is in there. All I, all I gotta do is now just put the bolts back on and uh, just tighten up this bolt right here. And this is where the other thing's gonna go. Put this pipe back on, this pipe, and then we Gucci. All right, boys. Got these bolts all situated. Okay. After we got these bolts, the ones that are in back, make sure you get those situated. The one, these ones right in the back. And then basically we're gonna put the, that hose the new one that I came with we're gonna put this hose in first and then just stick this hose in this this is like the easiest part so we got the hard part out so the last hard part that we have is the one he's working on right now trying to get those two bolts from the silver pipe in yeah. alright guys so all the bolts are uh, tightened up and now we're gonna put this shit back in it didn't come with no gasket so I guess don't worry about it and you just push that shit in and this bolt it came with the part on the bottom uh, I think it's gonna take the allen key I'm gonna tighten up and then uh, we already got that bolt out but it doesn't really line up I didn't expect it to be like that where's the bullet let's see all right so this is the bolt and this is like for your o2 sensor you stick that shit under it and then the bolt is too small all right, don't worry about it. Just plug this shit back in. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna bolt it in because this shit is too small. We gotta get a bigger bolt. I guess it should have came with the kit, but yeah, I'm not tripping. So tighten this up and just plug this back, uh, the O2 sensor back in, and then see. This is where your uh, wire is gonna go. The hero one. This shit. The other end. Yeah. This will literally stick in here. Uh, should just go right up all right just like that you can just use some sort of solution if you want uh, we're just tired of this bitch already we just want to get it done and <laughs> be over with just put this shit back in and, and this shit goes back in just like that oh, fuck. not like that Ugh. like that and then this should just back on on that. See, just check. This is okay. Tight, tight. He broke that shit. <laughs> and then make sure you plug this back in too. That's just make sure you line it up right. Uh, like just face it up right. Right in the hole. Shut the fuck up. Which way does it face? Things are my way. I do my way. No, no. Look at the, the face of the thing. Okay, that shit is plugged in. This and shit is plugged in. And uh, that's it. Oh, we're forgetting this. 
Oh, and there's another sensor. So this here's plugged in. We just can't put the bolt on because of this, right? So it's gonna be a bit loose, that's fine. It's not gonna go anywhere. And uh, just gonna tighten this up. That's it. So it has like a self bleed on it. It's gonna bleed itself. So we're gonna just pour some more coolant into that, the tank right there. And uh, we're gonna just start up the car. See if it runs fine. If anything goes wrong, I will be recording. I hope not though. But then after that, let's get some pop action. We're gonna pour some coolant in it. So it's actually on the low, low, like it's dropped down from the minimum too. Uh, it says right there, see, it's like gone under the minimum. So we're gonna, yeah, it leaked a lot. So we're gonna pour more than maximum because I'm pretty sure it's gonna go through the system and it's gonna go down. All right, guys, we're going for it. Let's see if he spells it. Oh, he did. He oh, spelled it, bro. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I think it's gonna take the whole thing. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, it's gonna take the whole thing, bro. <laughs> we had like half gallon, so it wasn't the full gallon. Fingers crossed. It's our first time breaking something on the Alpha and fixing it. Starting it back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see how it goes. The cold start is gonna be good. Listen to it. Keep an eye, keep an eye on the gauge, like yeah. the heat gauge. Ready? Yeah. That's the coolant. It's smoking out of it. It's running fine, but uh, we're gonna wait till the coolant all burns out, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if anything goes wrong. I'm recording a bullet. So yeah, this is basically how you do it. Good luck. All right, guys. Uh, moment of truth. Let's go for a drive after fixing that hose. We're in the neighborhood, but the cars are heated up. Yep. yep, almost, almost. Yeah, we got like three bars already, so we're chilling. Let's see some pops. Some small pops, you know. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Yeah, so the car seems to be running fine so far. That would never get old. I'm pretty sure neighbors are gonna hate me, because it's like a weekday, not on a weekend, bro. A turbo spool. Yep, that shit sounded nice. So we need brakes on this thing too. No smoke, guys. No smoke whatsoever. Cars running fine. Is the heat gauge okay? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, good sounds good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Looks good too. All right. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, the heat gauge, heat gauge is pretty fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. The car is running fine. The Alpha is back alive. Smell that. Last pull. Yeah, it's probably the cool end burning off. We'll stop at my house again. We're gonna stop again, check again. But yeah, that's how you guys do the hose that blows up. Alright guys, this is it. Peace out. Make sure you subscribe. I'll bring some more maintenance videos for the Alpha. The Alpha's been like the reliable car ever. I'm not gonna lie. This was like on him. It was on me actually. He actually pulled the fucking thing too hard. And it was totally unplanned. It yep. just happened. It just, it happened. just happened. We were gonna do the sparklers. So stay tuned if you wanna watch the sparkler video. Peace out. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to share, subscribe, comment, whatever you didn't like. Because I know most of you guys didn't like my last videos because I was like, moving cars around and doing a lot of shit like I don't know I was trying to be fancy or whatever but yeah this video I kept it simple
Peace out. Hope you guys liked it.